The most popular AI image generators like Midjourney, Flux, and Google ImageGen are all getting outperformed by an image tool that you've probably never heard of. The tool that I'm talking about is called Recraft, and I've been testing it out for a while now, and they claim to be better than Midjourney. So in this video, I'm putting it to the test to see how good it actually is. I will do it through a prompt battle, and I will walk through all the features that you need to know to make awesome stuff like this. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, then I will leave a link in the description down below. Let's start off with the prompt battle between Midjourney and Recraft. So what I've done, I've prepared a few prompts and I've put them into both Midjourney and Recraft and we can tell which one is the best. I will walk you through my experience, which one I think it looks better. We're starting off with the first prompt that's a cinematic prompt and this is about an attractive Asian woman. So I've put this prompt into Midjourney and I got this image. It already looks quite good. It looks a bit soft in my my opinion but it looks not too bad now then i've done it in recraft and i think this one looks more realistic if we compare the two then we can see for example with their detail in her eyebrow and in her hair right here i think this one is a bit more detailed it does come up to preference so if you prefer this image let me know in the comments as well but yeah let's go to the next image which is about graphic design so now i wanted to test out if you can do something like brand packaging with some text in it so i have to text elevate coffee in bold now with mid journey i tried this multiple times and yeah i will show you later why text with mid journey doesn't quite work Work, but with recraft we made something like this so this could actually work like this the text isn't like messed up with mid journey it looks very sleek and elegant but the text that's the biggest thing that gets messed up now here i like the addition of the little logo of the bean i think it looks quite good you also see the detail in the corners of the box yeah this one looks quite decent then next up we have fantasy so now i tried something completely different a beautiful mermaid reaching out to a glowing seahorse to a ride in a vibrant underwater world so this is what mid journey created and to me this looks like the mid journey style like this is a, a common style i see within mid journey i don't know what it is i can just tell images that are generated through mid journey i can just tell it based on the look and feel of it now then we have it on recraft this one looks a bit more realistic this one is more fantasy so i would have to give this one to mid journey but this one it looks not bad but if we go from the colors then we have way more colors going on in mid journey and i really like the detail in her hair so yeah which one do you like the most out of these two in my opinion this one is a tough battle like this one looks more realistic while this one looks a bit more fancy so now i wanted to test out the prompt coherence so how well does it follow up my prompt so i have a prompt right here a dinner table with a plate on the left holding a donut stacked on top of another a coffee cup in the center and then a restaurant menu on the right so i want to have it in that order and with mid journey it did follow this so we have the stack of donuts on the left then we have the coffee quite in the center not really and then we have the menu on the right on the table it looks quite cool it kind of looks like it has that 80s aesthetic to it now then with recraft we have a quite similar generation but the look and feel is completely different i like this one more because this feels more like a real american cafe with a good donut cup of coffee and then you have the menu on the right now lastly i wanted to test out motion blur so i gave it a prompt with a motorbike speeding through the city and then i wanted to see how it well does with motion blur i'm kind of like looking for a bit of like neon style but i also want to keep it somewhat realistic so with mid journey it generated this it looks really really cool like, like this could be put on a poster and i could put this on my wall but the thing that i dislike about this is that you don't see anything about the building so you see the neon lights nearby buildings and the street signs like that's not that much visible anymore it is really like a bit too much motion blur in my opinion but it makes for a very cool image so if this is what you're looking for then it works then with recraft we do have a more realistic motion blur in my opinion the thing that i like here is that we still can see the buildings we can still see the neon colors that are coming out of the signs the billboards and and even the building itself it just looks a bit more realistic like this all comes down to preference so let me know in the comments down below which one out of these images you like the most was it mid journey or was it recraft now let's just dive into how recraft works i will walk you 
through the entire platform and I will show you how you can create cool looking images with Recraft. Once you sign into Recraft, this is the page that you will see. Here you can create a new project. Then you have four different choices. We're gonna start off with image. Now with the image, you have complete freedom over what you want to do. Unlike Midjourney, where it's most likely a image generator, with Recraft, you have complete control over the outcome. You can edit it, you can enhance it, you can create different versions, change the color. I will show you all of that in this video. So first of all, we have our square image right here. What we can do if we drag it over to the left, we can make it larger, like a 16 by nine image, or we can also make it like a nine by 16 image. So you can do that through the slider, but you can also do that by typing in the width and the height through here. Then we have a few options right there. So here we can choose different kinds of styles and they have so many different styles that you can choose from. And throughout this video, I will show you a few different ones. First up, what I would recommend you to do is to choose the models that are based on Recraft V3. So now that you have the latest version, so you can still choose between all of these different models, then you can choose the one that you'd like. For the first prompt, I want to do photorealism. And then I have my prompt right here, which is about a Porsche 911. So now I'm just going to click on Recraft and let's see what it makes. So here we have two different versions. One is this Porsche right here, which is a bit of an older Porsche. And then we have this one right there, which is a bit newer and both look quite cool. So now you can fine tune it a bit and then you can say a blue Porsche speeding through the coastal road during a sunset. And then you modify that image and then it will create a new variation based on your original image. As you can see here, we have the new one. Here we have the original one. It looks slightly different, but it actually looks really, really amazing. It's quite amazing how much control you can have over the image. So for example, what I can do is I can adjust the colors and I can use the color spectrum to change it. So this looks quite cool as well, but you can also do something with the saturation and you can play around with the brightness. So it's basically like Photoshop with an AI image generator built into it. If you want to have different variations of your image, then you can go to variate and here you can choose any type of format. So let's actually do it one by one. And then you can generate number of different generations on your current image. So now we have this one, this one, and this one. So this works really well if you just want to have a few different generations of your image. Let me show you how you can now edit your images. So here I have this image generated through Recraft. What you have on top of here are a bunch of different features that you can use to improve or edit your image. So for example, what I can do here, I have this repaint button. So now I can modify an area by, for example, just drawing this right here with the lasso tool. Then I can type in the clown wears a tie. Now I modify that area and now we have an image like this. As you can see, he now wears the blue tie and we have a different version as well. You can choose which one you like the most, but you can go nuts with this. You can literally like draw anything that you want in your image. Now, another thing that I find pretty cool, which works pretty cool is the erase tool. So if I just erase this, then I erase that area Then you can see that this yellow beam will be removed within seconds. So now if I zoom in a little bit, you can see it has done quite a good job. I can still see the outline that might also be because of my drawing. So let's try this one more time with this yellow bar right here. So I'm just gonna draw the entire outline of this. Actually make this a bit bigger so it's easier. Okay, so that should work. Now we erase it. And as you can see, this works quite good. So this part, I cannot even tell there used to be like a yellow bar there. Next up, you can also remove the entire background. And for an image like this, that would be quite difficult with the pen tool within like Photoshop, but do it like this, then we have it removed. If I click now on change background and I add in my prompt right here then i can change him to be sitting inside a dental office and it looks quite cool now lastly for the editing features you can do a crisp upscale or a creative upscale the creative one will wander a little bit more so you will have a bit more variation the crisp upscale will give you more bit more depth into your images the image is now upscaled and we now have a way larger resolution and our image looks a bit sharper and cleaner in my opinion another area where i think recreation is quite interesting is creating vector images because most of the image generators you don't actually get an SVG file and with this tool if we go to recraft here and then we click vector art then we can actually create SVG images that we can use right away so for example if I type in a dancing ping ring then we get these two images I like this one the most now with this vector if I just were to export this right away then I can do so as an SVG which is quite cool and you can have 
complete control over the outcome of your image. For example, I can change the number of colors. If I only do two, then we just do like white and black. Then if I add in a third one, we get orange. Then I add in a fourth one, that's blue. And then a fifth one, it's a bit of shading. And yeah, basically like this, you can create a bunch of different variations. You can also click on this color and you can use a different color palette. So for example, let's use this one. And now we have a yellow one. Then we can create a ton of variations. I just selected a different color palette and I just generated this. And now we have like six different variations of a vector that we can use in other images or videos. Now the plus side of this, you can export this to something like Adobe Illustrator or to like Photoshop and you don't lose any quality. And you can also change every bit individually. Let's dive in a little bit into text. So with text in Mid Journey, I created these images and all of them, they all have some mistakes in there. So for example, here we have gold. I don't even know what that word is, bad key. So yeah, all of them have mistakes in the spelling of letters. So for example, here we have gold Cree bay, bay key. Sounds Australian almost, but that's the issue with mid journey. If I do the same through uh, Recraft, we do have a different image style because I use photorealistic, but we do get accurate typing of the letters that are in there. So there are no mistakes, golden crust bakery. It follows it perfectly. There's no confusion about this. Even in this other sign right here, there's no confusion in lettering the words with this. Here I have another example of a cool movie poster. Now the title is The Shadow Beneath, and then we have some secrets refuse to stay buried. There's no mistake in terms of like the spelling. I put in all the words myself and it followed it perfectly. Let's say you have no idea what to create and you're looking for some inspiration. What you could do is you can go to image set. Here you can import like a bunch of different prompts or a bunch of different ideas that you have. So let's do something like this, a bunch of different animals. We just click on recraft and now you get a bunch of different images of the words that you put in there. So like this looks quite amazing. So I could even use this on like a card or on like a poster design. You can make some creative storyboards with this whole image set. And honestly, you can make some interesting stuff like this or this, for example. Let's take a look at the pricing of Recraft. So with Recraft, you can get started for free. You will get 50 free credits daily. And then you have their basic plan or their advanced plan, which is most recommended. So with the advanced plan, you get about 4,000 credits. And keep in mind, each generation will cost you about one to two credits per generation. Then you have a few things like upscaling, which might be a bit more expensive in terms of credit usage, but all in all, if you're a power user, I would say with the advanced plan, you will have enough credits. Now, if we compare that to Mid Journey, then we can see the basic plan is like 10 bucks. They don't have a free plan at all. You have the standard plan at 30 bucks and then the pro plan at 60 and then even the mega plan. And this whole system works very differently. They don't have like a credit system, but like a GPU time. So it's hard to compare the pricing. I would say Recraft is cheaper than Mid Journey. If you want to try out Recraft for yourself, then click the link that's in the description down below. And if if you want to learn more about how you can turn those images into cool looking videos, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I'll explain you exactly how.